Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is dynamic programming in DAS subject. Guys, I have uploaded complete DAS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. Dynamic programming solves problem by combining the solution of sub problems. It is mainly used for optimization problems. What dynamic programming will do is dynamic programming will divide largest problem into smaller sub problems and then it will find solution to each sub problem and then at last it will combine all these solutions to get solution to large problem example this is largest problem what dynamic programming will do is this dynamic programming will divide this largest problem into smaller sub problems this problem is divided into three sub problems they are one plus one 2 plus 3 and 5 plus 5 at first it will calculate this result is 2 and for this result is 5 and for this result is 10 now it will combine solutions of these sub problems it will combine this solution like 2 plus 5 plus 10 that is 17 this is solution to the largest problem instead of finding solution to the largest problem at a time this dynamic programming will divide this largest problem into smaller sub problems and then it will find solution to these sub problems and at last it will combine these solutions in order to get solution to the main problem dynamic programming is mainly used for optimization problems in this this is structure of dynamic programming in this large problem is divided into smaller sub problems each solution contains a value value is nothing but whatever the solutions that we got for these sub problems we call these solutions as values the following are the steps that dynamic programming will follow. These are the five steps that dynamic programming will follow. First step is it will break complex problem into smaller sub problems as I said in diagram and in second step it will find solution to each sub problem. It will find optimal solution. Optimal solution is nothing but best solution. After finding optimal solution to these sub problems it will store these solutions in particular memory location. The process of storing result of sub problems is known as memorization. In this process in order to get optimal result we calculate each sub problem again and again and at last fifth step is after calculating all sub problems after getting solution to each and every sub problem we will combine these solutions in order to get solution to large problem next properties of dynamic programming there is only one property of dynamic programming that is optimal substructure after combining solutions of all sub problems then we will get solution to the main problem we will get optimal solution to the main problem we call it as optimal substructure in dynamic programming we are storing solutions of all sub problems so that space complexity would be increased but time complexity will be decreased because as we are finding solutions to the sub problems and then we are combining these solutions it will become easier so time complexity would be decreased there are two approaches in dynamic programming first one is top down approach and next one is bottom up approach where top down approach follows memorization technique and whereas bottom up approach follows tabulation technique these are the three advantages of dynamic programming first advantage is it is easy to understand and next advantage is easy to debug and last advantage is it solves solutions of sub problems only when required these are the three advantages of dynamic programming these are the applications of dynamic programming we use dynamic programming in optimal binary search tree 0 1 knapsack problem all pair shortest path problem and we use this dynamic programming in traveling salesperson problem 